common issue on the Express and Savannah vans is your vacuum check valve. Now the symptoms of this going bad will be while you're driving, say you're going up a hill, you've got the AC or the vent set at any of your locations here. Once you start accelerating heavily, the airflow will stop coming out of your vents and will default back to that setting right there. You'll start feeling it blowing down at your feet and through the defrost grills. Now, the cause of this is all the blend doors inside your HVAC system are vacuum actuated. And once it loses the vacuum, this is the default setting right here. Now, another way to tell if this is bad is once you shut the van off after driving it, or even just letting it idle, you should be able to hear a hissing noise coming from inside the dashboard whenever you change this. And on this van, it's not making that noise. So this is the location of the HVAC check valve. You can see on the front, your battery would be sitting right here. And then it has the vacuum reservoir down underneath. Then if you trace that line back, you can see that it goes behind the accumulator and your check valve is right there. It's a teed off check valve and doesn't look too tough to get to, but it's easy to say when there's no motor in the van. I'm slowing the video down now to show where all three of the lines are going to off of the vacuum check valve. Right here where I'm pointing, that one obviously goes to the vacuum reservoir, which looking at the check valve right here, that would be the one up on the left that goes to the vacuum reservoir. The one on the bottom goes to the HVAC controls inside the van, and the one in my fingers is the vacuum feed line from the engine's intake manifold. So hopefully that helps you diagnose. In this video you can see the HVAC line is actually snapped, but this is just a junkyard van. Once the van's running, go ahead and shut it off. So if your vacuum check valve is working, you should have enough vacuum in the reservoir to turn this valve and hear your blend doors moving. You'll hear a little bit of a hiss come out of here as well. So I'll do that right now. I just replaced the vacuum check valve, so this should work. All right, and that was it. You could hear the little bit of a hiss from up there. And I heard down there in the floorboard, you could hear one of the doors actually closing. So this vacuum check valve works. Now, if your van is only blowing out there on your feet and defrost or only defrost, and you can't get it to blow out towards your face, that means that you have a vacuum leak somewhere between the engine and your HVAC controls up here. So I do need to note that I did actually replace this vacuum check valve once before with a Dorman unit. And I do love Dorman, they do a great job of bringing previously OEM only parts into the aftermarket, but I have been receiving a few questionable quality parts from them, including this check valve. It was bad right out of the box. Uh, the engine vacuum would come in through this side, and then these two go to both your vacuum um, reservoir vacuum ball and the other to the HVAC system. So you should only be able to blow in one way and then the other side should be stopped. However, with this one, on the other side. So, yeah, bad out of the box. AC Delco OEM was on Amazon for about six bucks, so I should have just done that to start with. And, you know, sometimes that's just the way to go.